So I, I kind of had my whole genome map. This is my genome here. This is all me. You can see everything right into me here. Uh, <laughs> and uh, well, what's more interesting to me than this, this is actually what I call the super gene. Now, the super gene is much more important, which is not what is your genome, but how is your genome working? What is causing genes to get turned on or off? You can't change your genes, but you can change the expression of your genes. You can change how those genes work, which ones are turned on or off. And there are a whole host of things that influence that. And it's not just your genes. It's the, it's the food that you eat that changes your gene expression. It's your social interactions and connections that change your gene expression. We now know that if you have somebody who you're with and you have a deep heart connection with them and a positive interaction, you literally can change each other's gene expression in the moment. And if you have a negative interaction, you can change your gene expression in the moment. The same thing with food. With every bite of food, you're changing your gene expression. So we talk about the exposome, which is what are your genes exposed to, right? It's the environment, toxins and light and air and water and community and connection and food, all the inputs that we're constantly feeling, EMF, everything around us is always giving us input into our gene expression. That's called the exposome. And that accounts for over 90% of the result that we see as our phenotype, which is who we are in this moment, whether we're sick or healthy, is related to these inputs to our genes. So you have control over those inputs most of the time, and you can change your gene expression very quickly. Someone said, you know, how can you reverse disease even at late stages? Is it possible? I said, well, yeah, I had a guy named George who came to see me. He was 300 pounds. He was 63 years old. He had heart failure, diabetes. He had angina. He had reflux. He had prostate problems, erectile dysfunction, and uh, sinus issues, and, you know, all kinds of problems. <laughs> I, I always say I'm a holistic doctor because I take care of people with a whole list of problems. <laughs> so uh, he... He said to me, can you help me? I said, yeah, I can help you, but you have to do everything I say. So he did everything I said. A year later, he was 300 pounds. He came back. He lost 150 pounds. Every single one of his diseases was gone. Now he's 70-something years old, and he's starting a bathhouse in New Mexico. So the power of biology to change at any age is, is really remarkable. You can reverse aging, uh, and I, I, I see this over and over. So the super gene is your genome. It's your exposome. It's your microbiome, as I said, because your microbiome, those two million genes are constantly interacting with you and your own genes, and it's called the hollow gene. But it's also your nutrigenome. What are the foods doing that are affecting you, and how are those affecting your gene expression? It's your proteome, which are the proteins that are produced from your genes. Your metabolome, which is all the metabolites that are produced from your genes. I had my metabolome measured there. Instead of like 20 blood tests, there was 2,500 blood tests I had measured. So that's really more important is, how are your genes being influenced? And how do we map all those influences in a system that makes sense? That's what functional medicine is.